This is Victoria. In 2021, a magnitude 5.9 earthquake occurred here. I don't know what's happening! This kind of earthquake is, well, weak in terms of global standards, but kind of surprising to have happened in this region, which is considered to be tectonically stable. And that's where our friends across the ocean entered a story, as, well, New Zealand is ultimately responsible for reactivating ancient fault systems in eastern Australia. And the story of how it does it is astonishing in a number of ways. So let's take a look at what's happening here. When the 2021 earthquake hit Victoria, it did cause some damage, mostly to the ego of the people who thought Australia wasn't tectonically active, but some buildings also kind of fell apart, and tall apartment buildings that went up to 50 stories high also shook pretty ferociously for like 20 seconds, and the people inside of them understandably freaked out. Also, one dude also had some construction stuff fall on him during the quake, and he sustained minor injuries. But I'm sure his mates bought him a beer after it, so it was probably all good. This earthquake reactivated an ancient fault line that was over 400 million years old, and that formed during one of the many uplift events that Victoria would undergo back when it was little more than a deep ocean. This fault is named the Governor Fault, and it's actually quite massive. It's a very large complex structure extending from the Murray River in northern Victoria down to around Gippsland Lakes in the south, passing directly through the Victorian Alps in the process. The fault is very deep too, with it being over 35 kilometers deep into the earth and likely extending much more than that. So this fault's quite old, and there's hundreds of other faults just like this one in Victoria. And if enough stress is applied, literally any one of them can reactivate. So across the ocean, we have New Zealand. New Zealand is basically the ideal place to be if you're into Earth sciences. We've got an incredible array of things going on here. First, the Oceanic Pacific Plate is subducting beneath the continental Australian plate in the eastern part of the North Island. Then it suddenly flips around and turns into a continental collision occurring in the South Island. This occurs because two pieces of continental crust can't normally subduct beneath one another, and so they grind against each other instead. The New Zealand Alps are basically the mini version of the Himalayan Mountains. After this, when we go further south, things get even more complicated when it decides to flip around and now all of a sudden the Australian plate is subducting beneath the Pacific plate. It's basically like an earth science version of an extremely strange R-rated movie. Everything is going on here and no one gives a damn. But the thing about geology that a lot of people underestimate is just how much the Earth is interconnected, and how stress from geological processes get transferred even from places that are thousands of kilometers away. And in Victoria, this is exactly what is happening. The nearest tectonic activity to Victoria is over 2,000 kilometers away in New Zealand, where, as you already know, two continental tectonic plates have collided and are grinding against one another here, forming the massive New Zealand Alps in the process. The massive amount of compressive stress generated from this monumental mountain building collision is being transferred west through the crust beneath the Tasman Sea and into Australia, creating these unusual earthquakes in Victoria and basically forming the realization that Victoria's geological history and future is intimately tied with what is happening in New Zealand. And I find that to be incredibly fascinating to say the least. This has been happening for tens of millions of years, and will continue to do so for a very long time. And a 2021 earthquake was just a testament of this ancient process that's still very much alive in present day. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting or fascinating, then you're probably a little into earth science or science in general. I release new videos once a week, so consider subscribing. And if you'd like to help the channel out, the best way that you can contribute and make a huge difference is by sharing our videos around first and foremost, followed by liking the video to let YouTube know we're doing something right. Thanks again for supporting the channel. It really does mean the world to me. And like always, I'll see you all real soon.